Hey everybody, this is Hollywood Squares with the Lime Popsicle and Pants. Now you may have seen me play this with Billy MC, and that was a lot of fun. So today I'm going to be playing it with my cousin Pants. Say hello to everybody, Pants. Hi everyone. And I like how they have a palm tree in the Y of Hollywood. Do they do it on the show as well? I'm guessing they do. Is this show still on, Pants? I don't think it is. No. Yeah, so this is based on a famous game show that our viewers may have seen. It would have celebrities in uh, boxes and they answer questions for the people uh, who are playing the game. Yeah, I think it had two, well, at least two, uh, I don't know what to call it. It did, yeah, two, two or three incarnations. Incarnations. Definitely. One of them, I think I remember, Gilbert Godfrey was on all the time. He was. He was. And how, how does he, can and, you impersonate him, Pants? <laughs> no. And Whoopi Goldberg or something. Yeah, she was on all the time. See, you, it was always coveted or whatever to have the center square mm. in the show. And right. it used to in be... tic-tac-toe, it's a big deal. The most famous person was Paul Lind. He was in the 70s, he always had the center square. And he'd give these funny answers, he said... Well, I don't know about that. You know, I can't really do them very well, but... No, you can't. But Gilbert Gottfried's more like... I used to, When I was a kid, I thought Gilbert Gottfried was hilarious. I loved, I thought he was funny the way he talked, you know? Oh, uh, he is funny. And he'd be like... <laughs> good enough. enough. What? Good enough. No. But anyway, I bet you didn't know this, because I didn't know this recently, but... Originally, uh, he, before that, he worked for National Lampoon magazine. That's interesting. He was a writer for them, so. I think I remember when, like, this show was in its last incarnation. I must have been around 10 or something. Yeah. And, like, the celebrities that were on the show, I knew from the show. Right. Phyllis Diller used to be on a lot. Later on in the 80s, they had Pee Wee Herman on it. I, I feel like there was someone really weird all the time. Pee Wee Herman, hey! Who knows? Hey, anyway, let's go. There was somebody, what, weird on it? I don't know. Well, How many contestants? when I was a kid, they always had Jim J. Bullock on it all the time. Heck no. Well, I never heard of, like, hardly anything except in this in this show, like you're saying, you know? But he was famous of being in Hollywood Square as Jim J. Bullock. It's a perfect number of letters for you. Is it? You don't allowed to have four letters, apparently. Oh. But you know what? The, the only downfall of this game... Do you want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger there? Or? <laughs> that, that looks like... Uh, kind of like Billy MC. But, uh, <laughs> doesn't it? Sure you want it, too. No, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, the only downfall of this game, of course, is you don't have real celebrities. In the squares. We'll make our own up. So, uh, do you want to pretend we're people? Do you want to be like Cat Dennings and... B yeah, there's Cat right there. Which one? Oh, no. Never mind. Um, that the one, far right. Yeah, that does look like Cat a little bit. Yeah. That's Cat Dennings. Yeah, I was thinking that. This May is... Uh, Let's make out who, who they are. Let's do it. Okay. So oh, this is Dennis. Al Roker right here. Let's call them by, by who they are. Paul Yoker? Al Roker. Al Roker. I've heard of him. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know who that is? Is a weatherman? Is he a weatherman? Uh, maybe. Okay, uh, I think this girl looks a lot like um, Amanda Bynes. When she was younger? Uh, sure, yeah, when she had hair and stuff. Uh, or she pulled a Britney Spears. Yeah. This is Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. No, no. <laughs> that was one more like Corey Haim than Corey This Feldman. is Betty White. It's Betty White, because you said an older woman. Well, can you come up with another old lady? Yeah, uh, it's Estelle Getty, maybe. No, nah, that's Betty White. All right, Betty White. That's a punk rocker. Yeah. It's probably like the Red Hot Chili Peppers lead singer or something. No, this is the guy from uh, um, the Sex Pistols. Oh, Sid Vicious? No, the... No. But, jo yeah. Johnny Rotten? Yeah, that's Johnny Rotten. Okay. That guy there, that's a, that's a nerd guy. No, I don't know. I, no, I don't think that's a nerd. Yeah, he's, uh, he's like Arvid oh. Ingham from Head of the Class. Oh, I see it now. 
He looks like, um, yeah, a character from an 80s sitcom yeah, or something. Yeah, he's, he's that, that's who he is. He's, he's Arvid Ingham from Head of the Class. What's his real name? Uh, Dan Frisch, know. Dan Frischman. Dan Fr This is Drew Carey. Doesn't look like Drew Carey. I mean, yeah, it does. a little bit. Look, No, it looks more like someone else. It's, wait, no, I don't accept that. It looks more like, uh, you know what it looks like? John Candy. Yeah, I was thinking John Candy. Let's go with John Candy. Let's go. Okay, there. who's this? Uh, Whitney Houston with a blonde wig. <laughs> this is Tyra Banks. Okay, I'll go there. I'll go for that. And the guy in the middle is, uh, who, who is he again? Corey Feldman. Corey Haim. But you said Corey Haim. He looks more like Corey Haim to me. Whatever. Corey, Corey. All right. This guy needs a new name. Uh, Cosby. Oh, Bill Cosby? Yeah. Yeah, he looks a little a little bit like Bill Cosby. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Whose turn is it? Mine. All right. We well, gotta, I should just go for the you center. You've got to say right? who you're picking. you got to say it by the, the names. Corey Haynes. Corey Haynes. Okay. How do, I don't know how to play the game. Eddie's question. I mean, yeah. David only needed one stone to kill that big guy, Goliath. Where did he hit him? Where did it hit him? Does he give me the answer? Where it hurts most, probably. <laughs> do you agree or disagree? I think I disagree. They, they see they give wise ass answers and stuff a lot of the time, right? It's supposed wow. to be funny, you know. That was bizarre. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna pick Cat Dennings. Oh, weird. That's uh, a bad strategy. It's too bad. What? It's too bad that's Cat Dennings because that's a bad strategy. Oh, is it? I think so, but. Uh, okay, you're right, you're right. I have to pick John Candy. I mean, I, I don't say I know the nuances of this game enough to know, but... True or false, the monkey wrench was named for its inventor, Charles Monkey. Oh, mine's harder than yours. <laughs> so then, the guy just says true, true or false and just turns it still into a true or false question. I thought it was Irving Wrench. Ha, ha, ha. Uh... Disagree. What? It's true? John Candy's right? I guess it was Irving Wrench. I, I'm surprised by that. I. Uh, oh, yeah. By the way, viewers, this is another competition. So whoever wins this gets to pick the next LP. Right, Pants? Yeah. I'm trying to, like, it seems like I should go for the win. Yeah, okay. That makes sense to me. <laughs> it's set for the win, even. True or false, the famous opera Rigoletto is the story of a one-legged pasta maker who falls oh, yeah, I know this. in love with a woman with 15 starving children. Of course. Sounds good. True, he was blackmailed into it by the kids who already had one leg. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel like... Okay. The superfluous stuff. What? You won. But I s agreed with him. True. Yeah, you won. And it said correct. The answer was false. I don't know, man. Find the secret square for an amazing prize. Oh, it's obviously... Oh, you're doing this. Well, it must be cat. Why do you get a... According to the National... I don't know, man. What Sports Goods Association. What is the most popular exercise song senior citizens... Oh, I get it. Exercise among senior citizens. Sorry. I didn't get a special prize. We didn't unco undercover the correct celebrity. Right. I get it. No. Waking up. <laughs> That's... Oh, no, she said swimming. Look, it's another answer. Wow. That's how it works. Apparently. This is hard. Walking. I don't get it. <laughs> we'll learn. You think we should start over again now we know what we're doing? Now that I'm up one to zero? No, I don't think we should. Okay. Or 500 to whatever. Okay. Corey Haim. We've been invited to someone's home for dinner at 8 o'clock. According to Miss Manners, you should never arrive after what time? After dessert. 
Nah. 812. Wow, that's very specific. Yeah, it is. It's annoyingly specific, actually. <laughs> sure is. Okay. So you can serve us a fair match, like, because we didn't know what we were doing before. I guess it's not fair. <laughs> Should we start over? <laughs> I'm certain that you want to. Well, what do you, what do you think is fair? Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't really care. It just seems more fair if we know what we're doing. Yeah. Because we were picking answers that we might not even have known we were picking. This is true. <laughs> is Kat Dennings going to be kicked out of the game? I, I'd i like her to stay, you know, but maybe we'll find other Kat Dennings in it. <laughs> maybe. I mean, all these women are pretty, uh, well, okay, so anyway, you want to start over? Whatever you want to do. Sure. I guess we have to. You agree with it. I I asked you now. This is a. Uh, this doesn't seem like very entertaining, Alpine at the moment. Oh, pants! You're not supposed to say that. They're just they are enjoying it. Oh, my mistake! You, I can't believe you tell them stuff like that. You just you tell people you're not having fun. You know, well, like you're you're imagine you're like Bill Clinton. You're being paid for a speech, and you say, "Well, you know, the speech isn't very good. You're not having fun." That's that seems like a dumb. I don't I don't understand your analogy at all. Would you like a new character? No. I mean, either they already know that it's not entertaining, or they disagree. So I mean, who cares? So your name's Boob. Oh, the same people. In the same place too. Yeah. So we we can still use the same names. We don't have to pick them all over again. All right. So they, is this fair? Is this on now? Is this a competition now, Pants? Yeah. Okay. They, I think they have different names now, though. Yeah. That doesn't matter. We don't like, just... the names aren't... I know. I'm just saying. All right. Corey Haynes. Kind of weird, though. Who is Corey Haynes? He's a, he was an actor uh, in movies with Corey Feldman a lot of the time. I used oh. to think he was great, you know? Which scientist... I still... I use a good... I think he was good. I liked him. Which scientist would most likely have a laboratory filled with schist? I have no clue. A sloppy one. Mm, that must mean something. A biologist. Yeah, I'm agreeing. Biology is sloppy. Wrong. It's a geologist. Geologist. That's what Kat wants to be. Uh, if she's not an actress, she said she wants to be a geologist. She said that in an interview. Okay. That means this we were destined to do this. She must be a big fan of dirt. Okay, so I feel like what's the best strat here? I don't know. Getting the answering the question correctly. I'm gonna pick uh, John Candy again. <laughs> Same thing I did last time. According to the New England Journal of Medicine. Ballerinas often suffer from weak bones because of too much exercise and too much what? <laughs> Butterfingers and partners. Butterfingered partners. Man, it's hard to read that. Dieting. I would agree with that. Is that really a thing, though? Correct. Dieting. <laughs> what is what a thing? And is that something that bi ballerinas do? Diet? Yeah. Of course, all the time. You don't know that? I guess so. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I mean, I love ballet, but, you know, it's uh, professional ballet. It's not always... Read. Big, you know, it's not good to diet too much. Read. To get skinny and stuff. That's not good, Read. viewers. Don't do that. Read. Accept who you are as a person and be who you are. Okay, true or false? According to the National Opinion Research Center... One out of every three Americans now claims to be clairvoyant. You know what that means, right, Pants? Yeah, but how the hell... How is this a question? True or false? I know, but how stupid is it? It's not stupid. You just, you just, Are you kidding I me? I don't think it's stupid at all. I'm supposed to guess yeah. whether one out of three Americans think that. That's right. Okay. 
I had a feeling you'd ask me that one. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I disagreed. Uh, that was, who did you pick? Uh, Johnny Rotten. That's right. What did he pretty say? clever. What was his answer? He said false. And you agreed? Disagreed? I disagreed. Yeah, I would have too. I would have too. Okay. <laughs> when I played with Billy, didn't I forget how to play tic-tac-toe a few times? I don't know. So I'm not going to forget this time. Uh, there's a good chance you never really knew. <laughs> well, that's terrible, Pants. It's ridiculous. I, of course I don't want to play tic-tac-toe. Well, you're not using the right strategy, but... It's Am cool. I the O's or the X's? You're the O's. I knew that. Why am I not using the right strategy? Never mind, just fine. What's the right strategy? What you're doing. Yeah, right. I gotta think about this for a little while. How long are we gonna be here for? <laughs> well, you told me. I think you should pick Cat Dennings. Okay, but if I do that, I think I know it's a better strat. I think if I do this, okay, I gotta pick Dan Frischman as Arvid Ingen from Head of the Class. <laughs> That's one of my favorite TV shows. I bet most of the viewers don't know what that is. According to a recent Roper poll, the two household tasks that children have most are cleaning their room and what else? Cleaning their room. Let's see. Cleaning their room and making their bed? No, nah, it couldn't be it. Changing their own diapers. Yeah, that's it. Washing the dishes. Oof, children? Children wash the dishes? Oh, I agree. I don't know. Oh, wow. I can't believe I got that right. <coughs> Can you? Yeah. I, I almost disagreed, but... Your name is Boo. Or Beeb or something. <laughs> Are they really that easy to confuse? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, you see my strat here? See, I can go two ways now, and you can't. Of course. Yeah. You're on the defensive instead of the offensive. Yeah. Still wasn't the right strategy. <laughs> oh, man. True or false, most male gorillas are only intercepted in getting romantically involved about once a year. Intersected? <laughs> Interested. How could that be true? They should just be banging all the time. <laughs> no, they're constantly trying to bang the... <laughs> the, you know, queen gorilla. Only Tarzan knows uh, for sure. These are not funny at all. No. Uh, she said, true, which may explain why the gorilla population is down. Screw that. You're, Damn it. You're wrong. I, had, won that I round. think I knew that already. I think I, I knew that, because, or I know, oh. like, like, or maybe You I can't think. win by default. Oh. I did not know that. Look, I could still win. <laughs> did you know that? What? You can't win by default? No, I can't. Of course, why would I be able to? I lost that. Square. I usually, pick L usually, you get to. Oh no! You get the square if I answer it wrong. Wait, I shouldn't do that. No, I should do that. Does it matter? Um, I don't know. I, it would be nice if you paid attention to what I was saying, though. What did you say? Usually, under normal circumstances, no, I knew, I know you would what get that saying. square. Oh well, you did a great job acknowledging it. But. Uh, is, is I'm not going to tell you what to do. Just go. Bill Cosby. What country has the highest percentage of females in top government positions? Wow. wow. In that? I think it was the U.S., you know. At that time. Yeah, this is back in the... Uh... I know what I would guess. That's a hard one. The Virgin Islands. Ah! <laughs> I like that one. Israel. Oh. Israel. Where would you get an answer like that from? I agree. Oh, Norway. It sounded like the most ridiculous answer of all time. Norway. How could it possibly be Israel? That's just insane. I don't that know that would... why, but... Israel. That's why you... Should... Never mind. 
Um, There's newer ways. All right, Cat Dennings, betray your man. No, which two houses form the British Parliament? Houses. Yeah. The two and one end ones in Downing Street. Mm, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Totally. Yeah, I knew that. Darn it. You went with Cat Dennings. <laughs> yeah, I did. That seems like yeah. wrong. Just jammed it in your back. Seems wrong. Find the Feels secret square for an amazing prize. Thanks, Cat. I always knew you secretly loved me. No, he's ridiculous, viewers. He's delirious right now. I'm picking this guy because he's Corey Haim and he's in the middle. Sure is. You're depressed. Statistically, are you likely to be a man or a woman? <laughs> I know that. Yeah, I, sure. think I, I think I know that too. I don't know. That's why I'm depressed. <laughs> Unless it's changed. I agree. Correct. I thought for sure it was the other answer. Are you serious? Dead serious. Well, how could you possibly... Why would you think that? So I think that's the way that it actually is. women tend to be more emotional. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Right? I don't think there's... I, I think that stat has changed since then. You, or maybe that was never a stat. They were just speculating. You're a little weird. Let's find out. Where should I go? Where, what's the best place to go, viewers? Should I go there? If I go there, I still got to do those. If I go there, you still got to do those. <clears throat> How does Pants play this game? Should I go down there? 80% of all suicides in the U.S. are men. Okay, that's, so that's you know, that doesn't mean... Uh, yeah, women are just smarter and they don't kill themselves, I guess. Maybe. They're not as likely to go through with it. They may threaten it more, but... Oh, women are more likely to attempt it, but <laughs> they don't succeed as much. Yeah, I'm not sure. That doesn't... Okay, yeah. I'm sorry that that's funny to me. It shouldn't be. Maybe it should. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> i got to figure out where to go here. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, they do it, like, with pills and stuff more often. I think and men would probably do it more with... Uh, a gun? Know, something more drastic, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. That's probably the reason. This is a real downer part of the LP. Yeah, exactly. Well, you kind of, like... You took it, you, you extrapolated it, you know. I don't know if I should go Cat Dennings or somewhere else here. I'm not sure what the, the strat should be. Do you know? Oh, it's my turn. Oh, I didn't know that. Neither did I. Wow, I all the time I was thinking about where I should go next. John Candy. <laughs> You're doing my strat. A new study by the AMA in Dallas flatly says... Blood pressure goes up when what goes down? What's the AMA? American, American Medical, Medical Association. Association. That's pretty good. I'm going to ask them anything I want. Are you ready? John Candy says, the front of the airplane. I don't remember the question. Wait. What's the question? Blood pressure goes up when this goes down. I think. Oh, hell no. Income. Doesn't make any sense. Well, that's a good thing that you actually question for me. Did, is that did I shouldn't have? Well, I mean, I don't know. I didn't know the. Would you I have answered for me? I don't know. <laughs> Probably, I guess. All right. So you're going over there. What do I do here? I can't actually get a definitive answer, but. Who's more likely to be depressed? One headline here says that it's actually the same. But I, I can't get a definitive answer, so I'm going to stop trying. I don't know where to go. <coughs> Just go somewhere. I guess Tyra Banks, I guess. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense, <coughs> but I'm going to try 
Lie on your back, elevate your feet, and place a wine bottle, bottle cork between your upper and lower teeth. Why is According to Glamour <coughs> Magazine, why would someone do this? To celebrate. It's got to be a stupid reason if it's Glamour Magazine. Is that a fashion magazine? It's got to be dumb, then. Sounds like one. It's got to be dumb, right? Okay, lie on your back. I got a picture of this. Yeah. Elevate your feet. That's okay. Feet up. Now, <laughs> place a, a cork between your upper and lower teeth. I've never heard of this before. I usually like to put the wine bottle between my left and right teeth. It's more stylish. What would that do? I'm trying to figure it out beforehand. You're opening the wine bottle, dude. Have you not seen someone do that? Oh. Oh, is that the answer? Why would someone do this? To open a wine bottle? No, I don't think so. I think it's saying, why would you open a wine bottle? I'm guessing that's what it's saying. I don't think so. It's probably a fashion tip. Like, maybe it makes your teeth better or something. Okay. It's stupid, though. We're going to find out. I don't know. They're too lazy to look for a corkscrew. Yeah, you're right. Uh, to relieve tension, it relaxes jaw and facial muscles. Frick. I agree. Okay, good. Apparently it was actually about the way it, you open it. Yeah, I thought it'd be something like that. Wait, you were right. Boob! Found, found, found the secret square. square. Correct answer wins a holiday in Paris. Why didn't you pick Cat Dennings and you win cat. everything every time? Cat. You're so nice, Cat. Ah, <laughs> oh, kitty cat. This my girlfriend. You. She's so nice to me. Can't go to Paris with her. In 1992, what will draw worldwide attention to Barcelona, Spain? I bet you it's the Olympics, but I don't know. World Cup? Oh, the crap. Olympics. Let me think. It's got to be one of those two. The World Cup, though, is never held the same years as the Olympics, is it? Probably not. When was the last World Cup? Was it 2014 or 20... I'm not helping you. It seemed like it was only 2014. I don't even know what the World Cup is. Is that soccer? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I do know what it is. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was this year, I think. The, uh... How is there no Olympics this year? They don't have what, one every year. Was there? Oh, yeah. shit, there was. Did there? The Winter Olympics were this year. I don't... Oh, yeah. yeah. Were there? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. I don't know. It's either the Olympics or... So you're wrong, because they had them both this year. I think they did. Yeah. Because the World Cup was like... Not long ago. Who won that? Germany won that. U.S. Soviet, Soviet arms, arms talk. Arms talk. It's when the Cold War was, you know... How the hell do you get that out of there? Yeah, I, I knew it was the Olympics. Because I know when the Olympics were. You won a holiday in Paris. Hell yeah. Just because you picked Cat Dennings again. I'll give it away. I don't want to go to that crappy country. Are you kidding? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Viewers, it's beautiful. I'll, I'll go there with Cat. Cat loves going here, by the way. In real, she really does. She said so on, uh, you know, her favorite places. I might have been joking, in case I offended somebody. It's my turn. Probably not. Do you think we have any French viewers? I doubt it. It's my turn. Yeah, do something. <laughs> Thinking. If I go up there, I can do that. If I go over there, I can do that. Are you going to spank Cat later for doing that for me? <laughs> um, we don't, we don't. Uh, you don't, we don't, you don't spank and tell. Um, I understand. <laughs> if I go there, you go up there. If I go there, it goes down there. If I go there, I can't, there's no really great strat here for me. Someone in the YouTube comments should make a spank pun. And then if I go this is there, oh, yeah. well, I should go somewhere where he will want to be. That's what I should do. So I know where he would want to be. 
Yeah. So I got to go to Bill Cosby. I love how long this is taking. Because that's what he'd want to be. <laughs> took me a long time to figure that out. 11% of all Americans said it was the greatest invention of all time. What is it? 11%. Only 11%. It's, it's not a lot. No. So that, How are you supposed to know that? That's hard. That's really hard. I mean, I was going to say the mouse trap, right? No, it's to What? Is that a thing? The toaster? People say that. I was going to say sliced bread. They say build a better mouse trap and the world will beat a path to your doorway. That's the saying. Oh. It could be, yeah, they say the greatest thing is in sliced bread, too, so. No, it's um, the light bulb. The water bed? <laughs> the telephone. That could be, right? Yeah. I mean, how am I supposed to know that? It's impossible. That's not... That's oh, yeah. too hard. That was a good invention, the wheel. That was, that was one hard. of the best. That was hard. Yeah. All right, Amanda Bynes, I believe in you. Wait, I thought I was O's. Reagan had a Bush, Carter had a Mondale. What did Nixon have? Well, I know the answer to this. <laughs> I think I understand what it's saying. Yeah. It's easy. If you are familiar with American history, it might be. Right. What did Nixon have? Okay. A Sony. Humphrey. That doesn't sound right to me. You're right. Agnew or Ford. I won that one. Steve won. You won the whole game. And I'm going to Paris. Game three. I can't win now, can I? I don't know how it works. Man. Corey Haim. According to Self Magazine, once your baby starts walking, you should put off buying shoes until when? What? Wait a second. Why would they have a third game if it's impossible for the person to win it? That I don't know. Maybe it's not impossible. You know what I mean? Yes. It would defeat the purpose, right? It would. You think I don't think you should put off buying shoes. If your baby can walk, give him some damn shoes. I can't even right. understand you this. Put off buying shoes until... You shouldn't. Give them some damn shoes. <laughs> until he, he doesn't eat them, maybe? <laughs> okay. Until... So if your baby's a dog... Until, until you train your dog I just said cat. something like maybe his, his feet grow to a certain extent. Okay. I don't know. They are on sale. That's, that's good. It's a good answer, actually. Like that. They're needed for outside protection. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hard. I got it. Seem, it seemed like a perfectly valid answer. These questions are so dumb. Like, is this actually what they would ask on the show? Yeah, like, I, think, I, I think so. I think questions were pretty... They were this stupid. We're silly. I think it was kind of silly. Why wouldn't you just disagree every single time? Like, how are they actually going to get the answer? Why don't they have, like, the dating game on Nintendo or the newlywed game? That'd be cool. Did they secretly, like, give the celebrities some of the answers or something? Oh, I think they probably did. So they didn't seem so dumb all the time? <laughs> Probably they gave him the answers. I would like guess. Amanda Bynes? <laughs> Bill Cosby. I want you. Bill. According to the National Ski Areas Association, only 2.5 of every 1,000 skiers are what? I have a guess, but I'm not going to say it, though. You could take women. that any way you want. Can't be women. Uh... There's a couple answers that are not allowed on TV. That's what I mean. Um, let's see. Sasquatch? No. Hmm. All right, let's see what he says. Illegal aliens. That's pretty much what I was thinking. Injured while skiing. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think more would be. No, that's about right. Wow, it's not as dangerous as you thought. It can be, though. 
Man, this is hard because now I always think about what to do. <laughs> yeah. She laughed. Um, yeah, I know what you shouldn't do. Doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah. you could you could go there. This is insane. Just riveting stuff. I gotta think, you know. I'm sorry, man. I gotta think, viewers. You, why don't you <laughs> just talk to them while I'm thinking? Okay. 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 Oh, Put your thinking cap on. If he does that, Dean Martin, he could do that. Pocahontas, Steve Harvey. Oh, man, this is hard. Alice of Wonderland. I want to pick Cat because you always pick her all the time. I don't like that. Pick her then. But I don't know if it's the right strategy to use. Isn't Cat always the right strategy? Yeah. Well. But if I do that, it kind of blocks my attempts at other things, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? I'm just going to let you play the game. I think it would probably be better if I didn't, though. But I, I might make myself some scrambled eggs so I wait. I feel like, though, that you get lucky every time you pick her, you know? So I feel like I should do it just for that. <laughs> Even though it's not the proper strategy. Because yeah, luck is the real thing. Well, it's like a charm, you know, when you pick her. Right, and that's a real thing. That actually exists it in It does. That. Oh. Okay. I think it does. But, you know... He's a strategy. Especially when they're 8-bit binary numbers. If I go over there, would that help me? Oh my god. Please do something. <laughs> Wait. I think we're I on think, minute okay. 3 of you thinking about this move. Wait a second. 3 minutes. Wait a second. John Candy is so happy you're about to pick him. <laughs> He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I lost it. Now. Sorry, yeah, you're this thing all over again. Hold on. This is the end of the LP. No, come on, just talk to them. Okay. He's stuck in an infinite loop, I think. I gotta think. I can't think when you're talking to me. Talk to them. Okay. <laughs> I am. It's hard to think right now. I'm tired. Okay. Uh, might be hard to think always. Come on, man. Oh, I'm Why do you say stuff like that? Yes. I gotta go there. It's like teasing you. I, I think you should just pick Cat. Maybe. What do the viewers think? I think the viewers maybe just skipped ahead five no, minutes. No, but then ahead. if I do that, no, I would Let's be anyway, though. Completely. It would be anyway. That's the problem. Viewers, no. write in the comments what he should do. If I do that and I lose... Give us a very detailed analysis of the situation. Then you can pick wherever you want. <laughs> and you can anyway, though. I, I'm going to go for Cat. Good choice. According to Legend, who was unwilling to go into the Ark because she thought Noah was crazy? Is that a real thing? I thought that there was only... That person all must animals. have ate fat. Weren't they all animals? Well, he's got to bring a woman, doesn't Yeah, he? except for his wife, right? It must have been his wife. I mean, I don't know how he's going to repopulate without a woman. Wasn't that the only person? Like He could try some of the animals. Yeah, he only had two of everything, right? Right. A female and a male. So wouldn't it have to be his wife? I mean, maybe he was... He had an affair with something. Barbara Walters. That'd be interesting. Not that old, though. Noah's daughter. Ew. Okay, he must have brought four. Noah's <laughs> four. daughter. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. That makes sense. I mean, why he doesn't want to bang his daughter, does he? Maybe he does. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that's hilarious. See, Cat just gave a smart ass answer and you fell for it. Hey, you gotta read this, reader. Designated reader. I can't read. Excuse me. Take your face out of the carpet. We need you to read. Can you get lead poisoning for being pricked with a pencil? How can you be that upset about that? Because I should have got that. I knew the answer. I mean, I, I said the answer was probably that before, and then I I disagreed. I I'm going to guess the answer to this is no, since I don't think lead has existed in pencils for streaming. Then I agree with Kat, and I should disagree with Cat on that. Only if the pencil shot of Clint Eastwood's... Wow, that's them. interesting. No. Well, I guess that's it. You win. Did I? Oh, I get to go for a car. And then Paris? Yeah, you already so got Paris favorite. already. My favorite number is two. Choose a car? Oh, they have to match? Oh, pink, obviously. You're just picking the... It goes in. Turn the key. I won! You won the car. Thanks, cat. I owe it all to you. You're my hero. Look at that high score. How could you get higher score than I did? I didn't. You need to get more trips or something? We're in a ridiculous game. Okay. You well, that was fun. Well. I guess I get to pick the next game. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's thrilling. So, so thrilled. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this LP. Yeah. You got anything else hope to you say? you enjoyed waiting four minutes for every move. What, you got anything to say to the viewers' pants? Sure do. What? Floss your teeth three times a day. Wait. It's brush. Once. At least once a day? No. Why not? Once a month or something. What? <laughs> and That's true. Brush after every meal. Okay, brush three times a day. Every meal. Floss your teeth every day. I have a snack. Brush your teeth after that, too. Comb your hair once every Christmas. Well, viewers, till next time, it's fun to stay alive. It was disheartening. You gotta say it again. It's, say it like you mean it. It's fun to stay alive.